Hi guys, this is Chelsea from Reborns R Us. How are you guys all doing today? Um, I wanted to come on with Baby Lux, and I know it's been so long since I made my last video, and I just want to apologize so much for that. Um, I just started a new job, so on top of my old other two jobs, um, I've been working a third job, which is a night job, and the hours are just crazy with my other two jobs, so I've been taking the last couple of weeks trying to get used to the schedule. Um, I do deeply, deeply apologize for taking so long to make another video, um, but I'm back now, and hopefully I can make more frequent videos. So I'm going to change Miss Lux today. I'm also going to tell you about some exciting news that's happening with my channel. So in my video today, um, we have Baby Lux, um, and she is the Polly Kit by uh, Rachel Ma uh, Maynard, if you don't um, recognize her. Um, she was made by Shaylin Maxwell of Reborn Sweet, and I just want to take a minute and like love this outfit. Um, this is the outfit that Shay had sent, um, Alia home in. Um, it looks good on Alia, but, uh, Lux has been chilling in it, so, <laughs> and I think she looks so adorable in it. Um, <laughs> I just, I love the little furry ears on the shoulders, um, and it's, it's perfect for this time of year. It just seems like something she can lounge in. Um, I'm going to be changing her into this uh, Carter's three-month outfit. It says Daddy's Sweetheart. And um, these cute pants with the little, uh, I think they're supposed to be mice. So, <laughs> I don't know. It came with the outfit, so it, it definitely is supposed to go. But I one of the things that's, that has always bothered me about the outfit, and it's, it's kind of silly, but the animals on the feet... And then the um, butterflies on the onesie. I never could figure that out, but <laughs> it's cute either way. So, I'm going to start changing her. Um, so I wanted to talk about, I have five new babies coming to the nursery. Five. You heard it right. <laughs> um, all five of them have been shipped. I have two babies from Nikki and two ba uh, three babies from Shay. Um, the Shay babies were supposed to be home two weeks ago, um, but there apparently is a strike going on in Canada, which, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with the artist. It's not her fault. It, it's just the way it is. But they've literally been sitting at the post office that Shay has shipped them out of for almost two weeks. Um, they just started moving on um, Friday of last week. So it's it's kind of crazy. Um, I think it's kind of crazy. Especially since they were going to the U.S. Um, I don't live in Canada. Um, so I don't understand why they couldn't just ship them on. But, you know, it's, it's just the way it is. So... But they are supposedly supposed to be coming tomorrow. If that happens, they will definitely, definitely, definitely uh, be filmed in a box opening that I will definitely be doing tomorrow because I am, like, bouncing off the walls waiting for these guys. Um, two babies I already told you about. I'm not going to say they're kits because um, I'm going to do the box opening video and I kind of want it to be a surprise, but... The third baby was kind of um, an impulse buy. I hadn't really planned on her. I'd been drooling over her for, for weeks, but I hadn't really planned on purchasing her. And then Shay did a holiday sale, and I was like, oh my god, I can actually afford her. So I did go ahead and um, purchase her. And I'm super, super, super excited for her because... Um, I'm not going to say what she is, but she is actually a prototype baby. Um, my first ever prototype baby. Um, I usually can't, you know, because usually those go 
for way more than what I paid, but because of the um, holiday sale, it, it made it rather affordable. So I'm very, very excited. Um, and again, I'm going to do a box opening for her too, so you will see her then, but <laughs> I'm so excited for her. Look at how sweet this little face is. I just want to pinch those cheeks. Um, and then my Nikki babies, um, they shipped last Wednesday, I believe, but because of, uh, Thanksgiving and everything, there's been a little bit of delay, which, hey, you know, that's the way it is. It's okay. Um, they are coming from Australia. All my babies, all five of them are currently in New York. Um, the Shea babies have made it through customs. Um, I'm going to assume that... The Nikki babies have not, because they have been in New York for almost five days now and have not moved. So I think it's just a customs thing. Um, hopefully they are home this week. My fingers are crossed for tomorrow, because it would be nice to get everybody home in um, one swoop. So that, because um, I, I, I actually took Saturday and I took today off, because I thought for sure, because um, usually... They're home. All my babies are home before this point. So I took the days off and then, of course, no babies. And I didn't end up working. So <laughs> it's going to be a cut in my paycheck, which, I mean, it is what it is. It's my fault. But I can't really afford to do that anymore this week. And um, I really like to be home for my babies um, just because they're so expensive. You know, I don't I don't like the idea of them. Um, sitting around on the porch all day and you know I just don't like the idea of it so I'm really really hoping that um Adila and Isabella come home tomorrow with um my Shea babies that way I just have them all in one swoop and um I don't have to worry the rest of the week um I love doing box openings like it's one of the best parts of this hobby but that um, middle stage for me between when the artist ships the babies and when they're actually on my doorstep is so stressful for me because I, I just worry. And it's not the artist's fault. It's not my fault. It's not any's, anybody's fault. It's just how it is for me. Um, I get very stressed out and very worried and plan my schedule around the tracking because, like I said, I don't like to not be home when they get home. Um, I really don't get babies um, often enough for it to truly affect my job as far as that goes. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. But that just that middle stage is so stressful for me. So I, I always ask for um, tracking because I, you know, I would not do well <laughs> if I didn't know where these guys were. Um <laughs> She's so sweet. I just want to snuggle her. Oh my gosh. <sighs> um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but she does have um, white blonde painted hair. Um, Shay, like, did just such a beautiful job with her. So, <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys because I haven't made a video for so long. And I didn't want to just pop on and out of the blue do five box opening videos. I wanted to put some kind of explanation for where I am and what the delay has been. And I, hopefully guys, I'm back. I really, um, I like to make these videos. It, it's a de-stressor and I like to show my dolls and I like to talk to all of you. I love reading your comments. So, you know, I've been really sad that I haven't been able to make it on so you know I, I really do miss the interaction with you guys um I am gonna end it here because there's not really much more to talk about today and Miss Lux has been changed and looking just so beautiful that face I just love it so much I know this kit's not everybody's cup of tea but I, I find babies with uh, smush mouth, mouths and big chubby cheeks just so irresistible. So, oh, she's so beautiful. 
But uh, I guess I am going to let you guys go so you guys can get back to your uh, Monday mornings. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. So I'm looking so forward to it. Um, I don't think I'm going to sleep a wink tonight. The tracking on the Shea Babies does say they're supposed to be here tomorrow. So my fingers are crossed. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, guys. Don't for forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thanks for watching.